All right, so today I'm going to continue this illustration that I made last time. By the way, if you want to check it, I'm going to leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. And I'm going to make a pattern out of it and decorate it with these really interesting clouds and then test them out on some mockups. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create those clouds. I'm going to create a new artboard and click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top and select some blue color for it and select the pencil. You can double click on the pencil. And by the way, these are the settings I went with. And I also going to check close paths when ends are within 20 pixels. Click OK. And I'm going to create these really interesting wavy clouds. And I'm going to go and connect somewhere at this point. Doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to perfect it. And I'm going to click on the fill color. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit more imperfect. You can go to the object in that case, go to the path, select smooth and just make it a little bit more smoother. And this way is going to remove a good amount of unnecessary anchor point as well. Actually, this looks pretty nice, but you also can modify with the direct selection tool if you will. And I'm going to do a couple of more of these. I'm going to rotate them 90 degree angles and position them on the model. I'm going to right click on them, arrange, send to back, select all. I'm going to scale it down and we're going to go to the object repeat and select grid and it made a grid out of it and here we're going to go to the right menu and you can rearrange it but i'm going to go with this option brick by column and then with this little circle you can uh, make it more dense and with the other circle on the left you can make it more tall or increase or decrease the distance you also can double click one of these shapes again double click on it and you can select it and just rearrange it however you like and you also can press and hold alt to create a new duplicate create a new form double click release and if you select these handles you can increase the pattern and here we got another handle and now we got a full pattern and then export the pattern. And I'm going to test this pattern out on some mockups from rawpixels.com. I'm going to leave the links in the description. And here you can select really cool looking mockups that you can edit live online. For example, click on edit mockup and I'm going to click on it. And here I can upload the pattern. Let's select it. And here you can scale it up or scale it down and position it how you like. And you also can, by the way, rotate it. And click on continue and there you go it seems like you also can switch up this so i'm just gonna upload it again scale it and rotate it it is gonna do its magic and from here all you need to do is click on the download you can download it as jpeg pdf whatever you want i did curate a couple of mockups that i want to try it out this pattern so we got this for example and check it out you can edit and customize every each mockup separately i'm gonna go with this bag do the same thing and for this one i'm going to upload a special png and i'm going to go with this open i think it looks pretty cool and yeah these are pretty much it i think they came out pretty nice if you want to check out these mockups i did curate them i'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it and this was it thanks for watching